Uh, joining us now uh, on the Steve Molesberg Show is our friend, Dr. David Samadhi, Chief of Robotic Surgery and Minimally Invasive Surgery at Lenox Hill Hospital. You see him every, uh, every weekend on Fox News Channel. Hey, Doc, how are you? Hey, Steve, how are you? I still got this stupid cold, sinus, whatever the heck it is. I'm now on, uh, you're not going to want to hear this, I, 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 I took the z pack. And uh, today's day four, so I got one more pill to take. But it's it's I, it's not getting better yet. But I guess it takes time with this thing, right? Yeah, you know something. The best thing for you is to use uh, that nasal wash. So there could be some, uh, um, you know, mucus. So you can use some of that like like saline wash. Right, right, yeah. And that's going to improve it. Okay, good. I'll combine that with that. All right. It's, uh, it's the viral. And by the way, your producers are so funny. So I'm drinking this vi <laughs> vitamin drink. Yeah. And they already diagnosed it. They're worried about the amount of sugar that I'm <laughs> taking. Right you, you, you produce a bunch of doctors over there. I'm telling you, I, 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 they, they're working for a hypochondriac. So that's me, by the go. way. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so, all right. So let's talk about some uh, good news. I mean, it seems like common sense because we know that exercise is good if you're healthy enough for exercise. But this is something that it's seems everyone can do, uh, it, it, and in particular if you're a woman, uh, walking an hour a day reduces the risk uh, of breast cancer, I believe, and this is just out today from the American Cancer Society, correct? Yeah, this is a big news actually, Steve, and we want people to know and hear about this. 70,000 plus postmenopausal women followed them for about 17 years, and what they're finding out is that one hour of brisk walk every day is going to reduce the risk of breast cancer by 14 percent if you do a vigorous exercise and really go after it and, and you know you start sweating and you burn calories then it's about 25 percent lower risk of getting breast cancer huge study that we want people to know and that's what i love about your program is that you bring the the most recent breaking news in medicine which and this came up today what is it about exercise that's important? It could be something to do with the fatty tissue or the belly fat and the fat around the hip that it may uh, break down the hormones, estrogen, in a different way. And also it could activate some of the insulin receptors on the muscles. And that's how, with the change of hormones, it would reduce the risk of breast cancer. You've heard me say this on Fox News House Call that uh, exercise is not only just good for your heart and metabolic syndrome and lower your cholesterol, but it's great for lowering uh, the le level of stress. It's good for your mood. And guess what? As a urologist, I will tell you that it's even better for your sex life. Yes, I said that. So, you know, one hour of exercise a day, in, uh, it will improve all of those. And everyone should try to do that. The guys in the control room just all got up and started walking around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. sure they're running. That's yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, we're talking That's to uh, the, the chief of urology and uh, the chairman of the urology and chief of robotic surgery at uh, Lenox Hill Hospital, a host of house calls on the Fox News channel, Dr. David Samadhi. Okay, um, let's talk about, you know, uh, we've talked about testosterone in the past and, and all these, uh, these uh, gels uh, that are out there. And, and you see these commercials for these uh, testosterone supplements and you know, it scares the heck out of you. Uh, you, you, right. think you're, you think your two-year-old baby's going to start growing a mustache if you, you take this pill yourself. Anyway, so, so <laughs> yeah, to give us some uh, advice here on, um, on what we should think of and what we should know before you take this, uh, put these gels on. Yeah, so the, the concept of male menopause, male menopause, we're talking about men whose hormones and testosterone level is continuing to slide down. And after the age of 40, um, you see that the level of testosterone starts to slide down uh, about 1% a year. So by the time you get to your 50s, middle of 50-year-old, you see that you would lose your libido, you're not as energetic, you're tired, you basically become a couch potato and you just want to watch TV and with a remote control. So the best thing is to find out exactly what the level of testosterone is. And the best time to get this, it's around 7 or 8 a.m., you never want to check your testosterone in the afternoon because that level will go down during the course of the day. So that, that's the first thing you want to do. Never check your testosterone around the evening time because that will give you a falsely low level. Number two, you want to know what your PSA level is. Before you jump on this testosterone, you need to have your PSA because if you have any kind of precancerous lesion, 
prostate cancer lesions by putting testosterone that will just go to like a wildfire and that's quite dangerous now let me and let me stop you real quick and ask you a stupid question but i have been told that it's not good to take your psa blood test or let me let me rephrase it like a boxer it's better best to they th it's they say it's best to refrain from sexual activity shall we say uh for 24 hours before taking your psa blood test is that true well i'm actually quite impressed that you know this I cannot tell you how many people out there, they have no idea what we're talking about. So one of the reasons why the PSA can go up when you're in the doctor's office is having sexual activity 24 to 48 hours before your office visit. So you're absolutely right. You want to make sure that you refrain from any kind of sexual activity for two days before, and that's when you get your PSA, 100%. That's a very okay, accurate Okay, so you got to know your PSA and uh, very valuable advice uh, as far as uh, uh, d d you know, things safeguarding yourself before you, you jump to the, this testosterone uh, gel. Absolutely. And Th now they have, Steve, they have injections now. They have oral pills now. Right. The most recent one is the deodorant. So check with your doctor and make sure you find the right range of testosterone for you. Doctor, hopefully a week from today, God willing, we'll sit here, we'll talk, and my voice will be cleared up, and I'll say, I'll sing the praises of your, your recommendation along with the ZPAC, and we'll all have a happy ending. You got it. All right, Doc, have a great week, and we'll watch you on Fox you on Sunday. Take you care. You got it. Thank you okay, so much. Okay, that's uh, Dr. Oh, David Samadhi, uh, Chief uh, of uh, Urology and Robotic Surgery at uh, Lenox Hill Hospital. All right, hour number one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, the media will have